Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I'm here with a uh, Talking Sense episode, but before I get into that, I'd like to say welcome to my new viewers. If you're new on this channel, I do fragrance reviews mostly and I do um, fashion and lifestyle videos. So I do hope you consider subscribing after watching this video. If you're returning, thank you very much for coming along. I'm here again with another fragrance review video for you. I did a in Elisa Le Parfum uh, review video and I did promise to review a flanker of it uh, so I am doing these one after the other I hope I will be I will not forget when posting which to post because I wish to post the uh, Elisa Le Parfum first followed by this one but I have virtually done them I have literally done them on the same day so this is Elisa Le Parfum Essential okay this is a 2020 uh, release um, and it is a flanker of Elie Sable Parfum. However, uh, the nose behind this is not Francis Kirchan. It is somebody different. I have forgotten the name. I forgot to put the name down. So I am going to spray this on my hand because it's quite pretty. It's a fragrance that I don't mind, you know, having on me. Um even if it's not my fragrance for the day. So the notes in this one, the top notes are orange blossom, and then it's got mandarin, mandarin orange, and then it's got some gardenia in the mid, and it's got base, uh, the base is uh, patchouli and some cedar. This to me is a beautiful, uh, elegant perfume, which is ideal for spring and summer. Uh, this is a non-cloying, crisp, creamy, powdery, light floral, with a hint of citrus uh, fragrance, uh, very delicate uh, kind of fragrance, the sort of fragrance that if um, you want a, a fragrance not to wear you, this is a recommendation. You know, I am saying this based on the actual Elisa Bleu Parfum. The fact that the Elisa Bleu Parfum, which is the original, is a beast, is quite the opposite of uh, what's happening here. There's actually nothing unpleasant about this fragrance. It's quite soppy. Uh, like I said, it's got that delicate uh, feel to it. It does have a presence, but it's non-offensive at the same time. So it's, um, I'd say it's quite mute. So it does not wear you. Okay. And it, it does have a couple of uh, uh, pages that you need to pay attention to for you to appreciate this fragrance. Uh, the first time I sprayed it on myself, I thought, okay, this is, you know, because I guess I was comparing it to this one or I was expecting something in your face like this one. So I quickly dismissed this one, but I've grown to love this uh, Elisa Bleu Parfum uh, Essential uh, because it's a, it's a softer take. Uh, it, it's not piercing at all uh, like uh, the original. It is quite mute. It's a appropriate you know for work or if you work with a crowd or if you're a teacher at a school a nurse fundraising a church crowded places you know where your perfume does not necessarily uh you know slap people in the face this is the ideal uh fragrance it settles so so close to the skin which uh, gives me a feel of it being an ideal fragrance for bedtime as well the orange in this is quite dewy um the gardenia is lovely uh, and it's not too matrony. It is just basically uh, lovely. It is a safe uh, blind buy and it is quite a breath of fresh air as a flanker to the Elisa uh, uh, Le Parfum range because this is a softer take. This is one that I feel appeals to all age groups because it is simply beautiful. And if you are looking for uh, a Mother's Day gift, this is also ideal, you know, for, uh, and not to say it is, uh, I'm not saying this is grandmarish or old or whatever, but I feel it is a mature fragrance, which is non-offensive, which is safe. Um, I don't see a lot of people not liking this unless you have a thing against florals and citruses because it is floral, uh, but it is, like I said, it is in the background. It plays that prettiness in uh, the background. So if you want to feel like a princess, if you want to feel like an elegant queen, uh, but not necessarily, uh, you know, uh, uh, drowning people in your fragrance, this is one to go for. In terms of longevity, this uh, to me gives me about four hours on the skin and after that i can uh, uh i can still smell it but it's quite uh faint so it is a toned down fragrance it is a subtle fragrance it's uh, a very clean 
fragrance with a soapy feel but very elegant and ultra feminine and uh, you know the orange blossom is doing the talking the patchouli is there but the patchouli is also you know not too much uh, the cedar you can smell the cedar as well it's already it's just uh, done beautifully but in a subtle way so it is a great uh, flanker you know um, and it is quite in fact I'd say it is quite the opposite of what happens in the original uh, Elisa Bleu Parfum so um, you know it, it, it is quite a, a um, a breath of fresh air if you will uh, because it is soft and it is ultra feminine uh, and in terms of age group I guess anybody can uh, fall in love with this and uh, you know uh, find it pleasant because I, I don't see anything that I do not dislike about this fragrance so anyway guys thank you very much for joining me today I've been talking about the flanker for Elisa Bla Perform and this has been Elisa Essential a 2020 release uh, I hope uh, you find some of the points that I noted in here helpful um, and uh, you know, I hope you do tell me what you think of it in the comment section. Do remember to subscribe. Do remember to comment, like, and share. And always stay fabulous, guys. And remember, like I always say, smelling great is a form of good manners. Cheers.